One of the projects that I'm managing is the ex-combatants project. I'm with uh, Hans and Alex here. We go to, uh, to collect food for the guys. And this happens every week on uh, Tuesdays. This is an immediate um, short-term thing which uh, I don't think it's, it could be any human dignity for any person to rely on handouts. Ultimate objective is not to just promote uh, this food because uh, ultimately one wants to make sure that they are self-sufficient. That's why we are trying to assist them to um, get business skills and um, create sustainable sources of income by the creation of small businesses. It's just a temporary relief uh, whilst we are busy fine-tuning our plans. My name is Daniel, and I was born here in Alexander, and I started being an, uh, an ANC member from 1974. So I'm still a loyal member. ANC have contributed a lot towards my life. Then I just call ANC as my mother, and I call it as my parents as such. In 1984, I had to cross the country, going outside to go and fight against the system that we were in. When I came back here, the problems that I faced, it was that of hunger and uh, the problem of uh, being confused. Because promises were not delivered to us. And then we don't know whom should we face to. With this food, we are really making a living for ourselves because I'm no longer pulling people, going house to house, asking food from them. This is where I live, in this tin box. Meanwhile, I know that I'm waiting for my government that is going to do something right for me, as they promised us. We make it just a bit, a bit, a bit, until we get another, another parcel. We are trying our best. I met my wife while I was in exile, and we got married in Angola. This was a happy memory for me, but I also have a bad memories. The, the moment that I'm thinking so much that doesn't go out of my, my mind, there was a great ambush weapon out there, two comrades have fallen down. And my combat was all red because of the blood of the comrades that have fallen down. We were the ones that have survived. But now, that is a, a trauma that I can never forget in my life. I joined uh, MK in 1983, whereby I went for six months training in Angola. Then after then I went for a commando's course training. Then in 88 uh, I came to work underground. We're going uh, to approach uh, 6 number 31 where I used to reside as an underground operative. Uh, being underground uh, needed a cadre who's uh, highly disciplined, who will be able to survive in all situations. I stayed as a normal uh, civilian, like other people. Even the system couldn't notice because of the discipline that I had. So no one knew about me. This place uh, reminds me a lot about the struggles that we waged, the pains and ups and downs of the revolution. We were fearless by then because we were still young and uh, very angry. And uh, some of the 
materials used to be trapped up here. Here uh, is the, the living room. We never had peace of life to concentrate on hiding, you know, protecting your life against the system. Because uh, I was working as an underground, I can't disclose uh, activities and anything to do with the struggle. Just only to say this is where I resided as my underground home. My name is Hans Seafolo. I was born and bred here in Alexandra. We are the first group of 1976 youth which left the country. And uh, we were received by Jacob Zuma in Mozambique. We were the first contingent to be trained under the ANC um, in 1976 in Angola. Life was a bit difficult when, when I left South Africa. I was very young at that time. I got this house uh, a year ago. They offered us this house as ex combatants. This is the bathroom. I haven't installed the bath a bathroom in yet, but I'm intending to do that, and uh, I, I, I need to refinish the house as well. Uh, this is my bedroom. This is my bedroom, where I sleep, you know. I spent most of my youth time in the ANC and MK uh, in exile. Uh, I grew up in the ANC, I was politicized by the ANC, I was educated by the ANC. Uh, I was offered a, a lot of opportunities and I was uh, even uh, working within the ANC structures. My father was working for the ANC underground structures. Uh, he's the one who was helping uh, uh, young people from Soweto and Alexandra. He was assisting them to skip the country, to leave the country legally. And uh, he was in the high command of the ANC operational structures. In 1977, when he got arrested and he was in the Pretoria 12th trial, they were sentenced to Robben Island. In 1991, when I came back home, when amnesty was declared, that was the first time I, I could meet him. It was a marvelous opportunity for me to reunite with him. I've, I've got three children in Zambia, and uh, uh, I've lost communication with them. I've been trying to, to, to resume contact with them. It's quite sad because since I've got a house as an ex-combatant, I need, I need that they should come and join me here in, in, in South Africa. Yeah, this is a kind of a tree called a willow that I'm using uh, for my handcraft to uh, craft uh, the baskets and other stuff that I'm uh, Crafting. I've been interested in doing uh, artworks uh, from an early stage. During the student uh, uprising of 1976, I was uh, only 13 years old. But now I didn't know anything about politics, about uh, the life we did, but until uh, I was taught by apartheid brutality. So they used to set dogs on us, police dogs, and hitting us all the time with their chum box. And for no any good reason, I wanted to know why, but you know, I didn't find the answer. Bullets were flying all over us. I used to run over dead bodies of my comrade, comrades and compatriots. So it's where I gained resistance to be able to go uh, and join MK. I really needed uh, some revenge on this. Uh, coward elders who used to shoot at us like we were moving targets, you see. You know, I hated those racist police and forces. 
this life is full of uh, many uh, injustices that affect individuals. This helps me to relax and stay cool.